Hello Hectugors and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you one interesting trick or idea how to measure a high power current. This multimeter that, that I'm holding in my hand is one of my favorite because it's so small and the model is Unity 10A digital multimeter but this small two do not measure current so in this video I'm gonna show you how you can measure a high power current using digital multimeter that doesn't have that function to measure currents and I'm gonna use this big boy digital power supply that can deliver 30 volts and 5 amperes and let's start today experiment here I have a solid copper wire diameter 1.5 millimeter or 16 gauge and it's long 7.5 centimeter and this one is a shunt resistor. A shunt is a device that is designed to provide a low resistance path for electrical current in a circuit. It is typically used to divert current away from a system or component in order to prevent overcurrent. So if you want to measure high power currents you need a shunt resistor. In, the, in this case I'm using my homemade resistor out of solid copper wire long 7.5 centimeters. Here it is the circuit diagram. We have voltage input right here the ground goes to the output nothing connected right here but on the positive the wire from the positive power supply go through the shunt resistor that is the copper wire 1.5 millimeters diameter or 16 gauge 7.5 centimeters long and uh, multimeter set on millivolts need to be connected the negative probe right here on the beginning and the positive probe on the end of the shunt resistor and here we have output and the readings will be on the digital multimeter so to explain the ground it's not connected anywhere that will, will go directly to the bulb right here and the positive from the power supply goes on the beginning of the shunt resistor and on end I have soldered the other wire that will go on the bulb and you can see that the bulb little bit light it's pulling around 1.5 amps at 1.5 volts and now when your multimeter is set on millivolts the first probe will go on the beginning and the second on the marketplace right here you can calibrate by moving the alligator clip right here let's say yes 1.5 millivolts meaning 1.5 amperes you can see better now 1.5 millivolts meaning that is pulling 1.5 amperes now I'm gonna increase the the voltage let's say 4.3 volts and it's pulling 2.7 amps on the digital multimeter 2.7 millivolts meaning amperes and I'm going to maximum 5.1 amperes and look 5 amperes on the di digital multimeter you can use this wiring or 
experiment for measuring high power currents maybe for 10 amperes 100 amperes I can show you maximum 5 amps because my power supply is giving the maximum <laughs> and this is great let's lower the voltage now let's say 3.9 amps 3.8 you can calibrate with moving little bit yes 4 here 3.8 3.8 this is ordinary car bulb 12 volts that is pulling high current or increase the voltage 5 amps Five amps. This is working great, and, and it's a nice experiment. And I hope you learn something new, and learn how to make a shunt resistor if you want to to measure high power currents. And your multimeter can measure that. <laughs> all right. Okay, that was all for today video about high power current i hope you learned something new if so please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya 5 amps maximum and it's super bright